So I'm putting the brisket on right now. We got a firebox on this side, cook chamber, smokestack. This is a real tiny smoker. So the way I'm putting this one on is I got the fat on the top side. There are two types of people in this world. One's fat side up, the other half is fat side down. I like it fat side up. I always put the point towards the fire because it's got more fat. It's got a little bit more insulation right there. So the fire is going to come up here. It's going to go across here, underneath, on top, swirl around, do all kinds of stuff and go out the smokestack. I've got the flat. It's by the smokestack. There's going to be a high concentrated uh, heat right here. So I'm going to have to be really careful not to burn that. One thing is a big fire and it's a small cook chamber. I'm going to put a water pan in here. And that's going to keep a lot of moisture in the cooking chamber. It's going to help it not burn quite so easily. We got fat on top point towards the fire, flat towards the smokestack, water pan in there to keep it moist, shut the lid and watch it fire for a long time. So how long is a long time? Well, long enough to drink a beer, long enough to need a koozie for it too. And talk about brisket. A good rule of thumb to go by for how long a brisket's gonna cook is generally about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes per pound. For this brisket, I always kind of calculate about 12 hours. If I'm gonna serve it at 5 p.m., I'm gonna start it at 5 o'clock a.m. The smoker I'm using for this one is really, really small in comparison to what I normally cook on. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty low, about 250 degrees. I'm gonna keep it really, really steady, and I'm really gonna watch the fires and make sure that they stay clean. If you were cooking a lot of brisket or a lot of meat on a big cooker, it's gonna take longer. The more meat you cook, it just, it takes longer. There's no way around it. There's a little term people throw around. It's called, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. And that's very much true. If the lid's open, you're losing heat, you're losing smoke. It's gonna take a certain amount of time to recover that heat. And that really gets people in trouble a lot of times when they're getting impatient and meat's not cooking on time, dinner's about to get served, people are showing up to the house and it's just not ready yet. You keep on checking it, you keep on checking it. But the truth is, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. At the end of the day, it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take and you can't rush it. Good barbecue just takes a while and just gotta be patient. That being said, there's a balance between spritzing and mopping and actually opening up the lid. If you've got to check it, do it as little as possible. And when the brisket starts looking a little bit dry on the surface, you can hit it with a squirt bottle and you can mop it or whatever, but you really want to try to avoid opening up the lid really, really often. The biggest key to having a good brisket or a good rack of ribs or a good chicken or a good anything you're cooking on a barbecue is fire management. The last thing you want to do is have fluctuating fires. You don't want it to get too hot. You don't want it to go low. It's going to add a lot of cook time. I guarantee that if you keep a good steady temperature, it's going to cook way faster and more consistently across the board. And what are the things to fire management? You don't want a dirty fire. When you burn a dirty fire, that means that you're choking off the oxygen supply to it, and it's going to create a lot of creosote. It's going to get bitter. It's going to be over smoked. If you look at your smokestack and you see that it's just pouring out, just gross looking smoke, you need to open it up. You need to maybe think about what kind of wood you're using. Different woods burn differently. You don't want to use green wood necessarily for certain types. You don't want to use overly cured wood for certain types. You really want to be able to look at the smokestack and see clean heat coming out of it, not a lot of smoke. Especially with an offset cooker too, when you shut off the air supply, you're shutting off the airflow to the cooker and you need a certain balance of radiant heat versus convective heat, all that kind of stuff. And that really comes into your cooker and just knowing how well it cooks knowing where the hot spots are, knowing how to manage your fire and all that stuff. So that's a lot of experience that'll eventually go into that. But those are some pretty good guidelines to kind of go by. There's a lot of different ways to retain moisture in a brisket or anything else you're cooking. One way that I really like is to have a water pan in there. I always keep a water pan unless the humidity is really high. And sometimes it gets like that here in Texas, but elsewhere it may not always keep a water pan. Other ways are spritzing, mopping, or, or the two main ones. Spritzing generally means that you've got some type of thin liquid in a squirt bottle, like a little squirty spray bottle. I like that. It could be water, it could be apple juice. You could put hot sauce in there. You could do apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, anything you want. The world is yours. A lot of people think it adds a lot of flavor. I use it more to keep meat moist and to keep stuff from burning. Another method is mopping. And that essentially is just some type of liquid. It could have onions, garlic, oil, butter, all kinds of stuff. And it literally means a mop. You've got a pot, it's staying hot. You stick a mop in there and you mop the top of the meat. I don't like to do it. I think it's messy. You've got to clean a pot, you've got to clean a mop and it just makes a huge mess in the cooker. I'm not really cooking that kind of barbecue, so it's not my thing. So to wrap or not to wrap? A lot of people claim to want to wrap briskets. A lot of people claim to not wrap briskets. 
I really try not to wrap, but sometimes you just have to. And what that accomplishes is that it retains moisture. It's gonna help it cook a little bit faster. If your meat's getting a little too smoky, you're gonna to wanna to wrap it, or if it's also getting too dark. And certain woods tend to get dark a lot faster than other woods. So you could either burn a really clean fire and not wrap it, you could use butcher paper, or you could use foil. Here in Texas, using foil is called a Texas crutch. I don't like to use it, but it's gonna retain a lot of moisture in there. It's gonna steam itself, and you could really cook a lot faster. If you're getting in trouble and maybe your brisket wasn't gonna get done on time, you could wrap it in foil and really accelerate the cook time. It really comes down to taste. If you want it smoky, if you want it dark, if you want it moist, it's kind of a trial and error kind of balance. So if you think you need to wrap, go for it and see what happens. Another thing to be mindful of is a little thing called the stall. And that really messes up a lot of people that are trying to cook brisket. But if you know it's coming, it's really not that big of a deal. The hotter you're cooking, the less it's gonna affect you. The lower you're cooking, the more it's gonna take to kind of get past that hump. The brisket's gonna be cooking, it's gonna be going up. And when it hits about 160 to 170, it's gonna stop and that's where the stall happens. It's tightening up, it's squeezing out the moisture. Along with that moisture is going the heat. That's the stall and then it's gonna keep going up. And you gotta think of it kind of like a train. It builds up so much momentum depends on how hot you're cooking and how quickly it's cooking but if you're going hot enough and fast enough if your fires are steady it's going to be like a train it's going to have momentum it's going to hit the stall and it's going to plow right through it and keep going that's how i like to think of it that being said when the stall has to happen it's going to be a while before it's done don't pull it off yet it may look pretty but it's not ready 